Yo, happy Mother's Day to every, you know, everybody, all the mothers out there. Uh, can't thank you guys enough for doing who you, what you're doing, being who you are. Um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Um, you see the plugs up top there. You see the plugs. Um, Props.cash at the bottom down here. Um, you use my promo code. You can get 25% off of uh, your first month's purchase there. And at the top, you see prize picks. You get 100% dep uh, deposit match up to $100 using my promo code for that there. And if you're on the go, you can see you got the YouTube music emblem over there. You can catch my podcast on YouTube music. Let's make this brief. Let's get out of here. I did the research, whatever case may be. I got some leans. I got some home run calls, some hits calls. You know, it is what it is. Los Angeles Angels at uh, Cleveland Guardians here. Over under eight in this spot. I'm going to lean towards uh, Los Angeles in this spot here. And I got interest in the outs for uh, uh, for Sandoval, okay? Um, it's important that you scatter your shots around books. And, uh, you know, um, scatter your shots around books and just... Because, you know, a lot of these books, a lot of people use FanDuel Sportsbook. And for baseball, it's not one of the best books for baseball, all right? So, Pastor Sandoval, his out sitting at 17 and a half and a minus 155. I like it. You could use a four poly piece or something like that. I, I, I got to lean towards it. You know, I got to lean towards it. You know, this this Cleveland team is not the best versus left-hand pitching. You know, and, and if I'm picking a side in this one here, it's going to be uh, the Angels or nothing right as of right now. And my favorite bat from a hit all the way up to a home run is going to be Shohei Otani, okay? New York Mets at um, Washington Nationals here. I don't know what max we're going to see here. That's crazy, okay? Excuse me, I had to drink something. But I don't know, I don't know what max we're going to see right here. We got a strikeout prop of five and a half. Washington, they don't strike out much. You know what I'm saying? They don't strike out much. And, uh, I mean, there you have that. Uh, I'm waiting on his outs. If his outs come, this is a projected line outs at 14 and a half. If his, his outs ain't coming out at no 14 and a half. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We don't have a line for his outs. That's why I'm interested in that. If it comes out at a parlay piece, if it comes out at, I expect him to bounce back in this game, but I expected him to bounce back in a lot of games. Don't get me started on the on, on the anemic offense as Mets. They can't even fucking score, okay? So we got a nine and a half total here. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm looking for his outs, though. If his outs come out reasonable, I'm going to jump on it, and I'm going to leave it at that, man. Tampa Bay Rays at New York Yankees here. We had an over under eight and a half in this spot. Elfman on the mound. Schmidt on the mound. Yankees, they're getting some of their bats back. You know, Judd's been back for a few days, a few games, and you see they've been putting up runs, all right? Uh, you're getting good money with the – um a good number with the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Here's a team that, you know, they're at the top of the metrics when it comes to all these right-handed, you know, Right-handed metrics, you know what I'm saying. When it comes to averaging, you know, uh, they they uh, uh top five in average, you know, versus uh, righties. Then you got your OBP number one, slugging number one, I right, OPS as a team number one, ISO team ISO number one, I right, WRC plus. Guess what? Number one. So, uh, you know, you couple that with the fact that you're gonna get somebody like, um, what's the kid's name? Clark Schmidt. On the mound, uh, he's giving up. Um, you know, Aaron Run sitting at two and a half. You know, and those are another different markets that you. Because I'm if I'm undecided on what side I want to take, but those are diff these are different markets that you could take. Aaron Runs two and a half. I mean, two and a half. I mean, hey, two and a half runs. Do you want to take it or not? Five and a half hits. I mean, do you want to take it or not? He's he's fifty percent to this number on the season. Uh, a one and a half walk prop is something where I got some interest at with these bats. I got interest with that. I do. One and a half, I do. All right. And the outs, I probably wouldn't fuck with his outs or his case. You know, so, you know, but right now, it's nothing but a lean. It's a lean towards uh, Tampa Bay for me. A lean. Just a lean right now until further notice. Pittsburgh Pirates at uh, um, Baltimore Orioles. We're over on the eight in this spot. Um, Pittsburgh just ain't been able to score lately. All right. A couple teams, a couple teams are going to who we think they are right now. You know what I'm saying? This is one of them as of lately, uh, last week or so. 
This is one of the teams, all right? But Keller, he's been on one, okay? So, uh, I, I, you know, uh, I, he's been on one, all right? Only thing about that is right now, I, I like his outs, but they're projected at 19 and a half, all right? I don't know if I, I don't want to go there to the 19 and a half. Can he hit it? He probably could, but I don't want to go there at 19 and a half. Uh, if I was to filter his outs down to 17 and a half, uh, which would be a major parlay piece probably, but I would get that. You know, he's hit this number 17, 17 and a half, you know, six innings and every game except for two. So, you know, that's one thing I look at. But my home run prop comes from here. It's going to be Jack Zawinski. I like his home run prop. Everything lines up for me. If he don't get there or, or, so I like his hit all the way to a home run, but I'm taking him for a home run. I'm gonna take his hits, runs, and RBIs. I'm gonna take, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take his hits, runs, and RBIs, or his total bases. I don't know which one. Which one? I'm gonna take one of them. I, right? I gotta look at it. I gotta look and see. Honorable mention Reynolds. Uh, you can take the lefties versus uh, Gibson. That's what it all boils down to. But you know, Sawinski and Reynolds really, really line up right. I like Reynolds in this spot here. I mean, uh, Zawinski for a home run play. I right. miss Keller if his outs come out of a reasonable, reasonable pop. Uh, I could take that. His strikeout coming out at five and a half. I really don't target this Baltimore team for strikeouts, but he's been a pitching great this season. I mean, he's hit that strikeout number every game. Excuse me, except for two. So if you want to get there, be my guest. Um, as far as the side in this one, man. I don't know, man. I, I, you know, you get that good plus money with, with Pittsburgh, man. <laughs> you get good plus money with Pittsburgh, but I don't know. Excuse me. All right. Atlanta Braves, Toronto Blue Jays, over on the nine and a half here. All right. Um. Atlanta get a lefty, all right. So they 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 they, they one of the best teams in the league at hitting hitting lefties. Okay, then they running out of. It's gonna probably gonna be a bullpen game today. So uh, Atlanta, uh, I didn't look. Let me see. They bullpen. They probably right around the middle of the pack. Uh, versus um, yeah, they probably they bullpen numbers. They around the uh, middle of the pack right now. So I don't know, man. I do expect runs to be put up in this one here. Toronto Blue Jays is no slouch when it comes to putting up runs. So I think they can put up some runs. I could lean towards the over in this one. Home run play is going to come from here. It's going to be Austin Riley, okay? Home run for Austin Riley. Um, he's going to go into my hit parlay, my hit round robin, all right? I don't have a side in this one here, to tell you the truth. Cincinnati Reds at Miami Marlins. Here we got an over under eight in this spot. Uh, Garrett on the mound. Uh, Weaver on the mound. Weaver is not the not the best pitcher here. Uh, I'm, I'm I want to fade Weaver. I just don't know how I want to do it. I want to go. I want. I want. I want. I want to go. Uh, take Miami. I want to, but I'm, I'm. I didn't say I did. Now I didn't say I did. I just said I want to because don't don't get it twisted. Um, but you know this Miami team they hit lefties better than they hit righties. Uh, Weaver, you know, he's giving up four on runs or more in each and every last one of his games. i tell you what I like here. It's going to be uh, Reyes. He's going to be my favorite bat. Uh, I know I'm going to like him uh, from a hit. Not up to no home run, though. I won't take him for a home run, you know, but uh, hits, uh, to, um, you know, hits run to RBI, something like that, all right? Uh, I'm not going to waste my time, waste a lot of time on that game. Seattle Mariners at Detroit Tigers. We got an over under eight and a half in this spot. We got Gilbert on the mound. We got Wentz on the mound. And right now, uh, I couldn't talk to you off of Gilbert's strikeout prop, but I'm not going there. Because um, if I like his strikeouts, uh, I'm probably going to like his outs. Even though he's 100% to the strikeout, you know, on the season, you can see that right now. Five and a, I might, I might go there. I might go there. But uh, we'll see. You know, he's 100% to that strikeout number on the season, though. So, you know, that's one thing there. I like his outs. His outs sitting at 17 and a half for the parlay piece. Uh, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple more a couple more parlay pieces that I'm going to bring to you all. But I like that for a parlay piece there. So I couldn't talk to you off anything else there. Wentz is just somebody I just don't want to really, really mess around with right now. Even though he's been, meh. You know what I'm saying? The earned runs department is where it's been kind of uh, iffy at. Uh, five runs here, one, five runs, runs, two, five runs, two. And then what is this? 
is this five runs day? I don't know. So it is what it is. Um, I'm going to just lean towards, uh, I'm just messing around with uh, the outs prop for uh, Joy, uh, I mean, for Logan Gilbert. And, and, and I got time to think about if I want to go to the strikeout prop with somebody who's 100% to this number on the season. You know, but baseball is so wishy washy. I'm almost scared. Um, Houston Astros at Chicago White Sox over under eight in this spot. It's got an under feel to it, so I'll probably lean towards the under. We have Brown on the mound, Giolito on the mound. Um, I want to take the discount with uh, with I want to take the discount with um, with Hunter Brown, his outs. Okay, his outs sitting at 16 and a half. I got it at a minus 130, so minus 130 right now. He's three of seven to this. He's three of seven to this number. Everything lines up to him probably be hitting that. So I, and then it's earned runs. All right, now earned runs. I couldn't talk you off. I mean, a one and a half is a standard, you know, number a walk and a home run that can get you there. So a, 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 a earned runs, you know, I, I couldn't talk you off that. A minus one sixty seven if you want to take the over. So I couldn't talk you off of that, man. You know. And then Giolito on the other side, he's been going, uh, he's been doing it. He's been playing pretty good. His outs are projected at 18 and a half. Neither one of these guys are out, outs are out right now. I don't know if I'll take it, though. I'm more, I, I want to take the discount with uh, Hunter Brown here with 16 and a half out. So that's, 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 that's what I'm looking at there, okay? And then the under. Uh, this game does have an underfield to it, so the under. Uh, another game that got an underfield to it. You got Chicago Cubs. You got Minnesota Twins. Seven and a half over under in this spot. Uh, Stroman on the mound. Varlin on the mound. And another, 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 another under. And another, um, another, another, um, another out prop for me. I mean, uh, Stroman. You know, he's been. You know, if it, 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 we we don't have no numbers out for this Cubs team yet because, you know, they always wait for the uh, weather and things of that nature. But if you could get it, if you, if, if it comes out, even if it comes out in a parlay piece at 17 and a half, I can feel to this to 17 and a half. Um, he's hit 17 and a half outs in every game except for one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go there. Okay. I don't really mess with his K's like that. He He's hit this K prop right here. Um, a four and a half in every game except for one as well. Um, Minnesota will strike out. That's one thing. Speaking of strikeouts, the Chicago Cubs, they have been striking out lately, right, as well. So right now, Chicago Cubs versus right hand uh pitching, they are striking out at uh they twenty fourth, all right, at twenty one point three. But last two weeks, if I filter it to the last two weeks, then um um they've been striking out from they come from twenty fourth all the way down to eight at a twenty three point four percent. Okay. So they're striking out a little bit more as of late, especially these pitchers from Minnesota. They just been whiffing their ass. Couple that with the fact that Louis Varlin, he does have a um twenty eight percent K rate. You know, he's striking them out at well, I think uh lefties and righties, what is that? Uh twenty twenty eight percent there. Um twenty seven and twenty eight percent. Let's see. Oh, uh, twenty-seven to uh, right and twenty-nine to lefty. So, uh, I couldn't talk you off of it. I right? a strikeout prop, but I don't know what it is right now. So, you know, I don't even know if they got a projected line. Uh, projected line strikeout at five and a half. I would have interest there. I would have interest there, but uh, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Damn, that was a lot. Uh. Kansas City Royals at uh, Milwaukee Brewers. I did not look into this game a lot. I might lean towards the over or maybe a team total over for uh for Milwaukee. Uh, um, Lyles will give up runs, okay? Uh, but I didn't look all the way into this game. Um, Colorado Rock. I mean, Philadelphia Phillies at Colorado Rockies over under ten and a half is really really important that you look into runs, hits, runs, and RBIs, okay? On both, especially in Coors Field, both on both sides of the bat. Uh, there was a lot of people that got there yesterday. I think everybody, I think at least six batters got there on each team. So hits, runs, and RBI. Excuse me. I think it was only probably two home runs. You notice what it, what 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 Coors Field, Colorado Rockies. You know what Coors Field does. They perform. They produce runs in Coors Field. Okay. Then you got Nola on the mound. All right. So I, I I'm gonna like bats for the, both of these teams either way it go. But like I said, then you got Nola on the mound. It's a parlay piece. Uh, his strikeout prop sitting at four and a half right now. The minus one seventy. Um, I don't normally target any any pitchers for uh in, in Coors Field. 
I might not even jump on this four and a half. Uh, the books know that line is is is, is iffy, uh, and then he pl- he pitched against these guys um, outside of course and still only had a uh, three 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 strikeouts. So uh, I mean, it is what it is. So um, I, I don't know, man. I was looking at it as a parlay piece. I really, really want to get to it at a minus one seventy parlay piece. Put something else with it, but I might just fall back. It just doesn't feel like the right thing to do. Um, ten and a half uh, runs here. I, I, I don't want to mess with the total either. I might just mess with some bats and, and leave it alone. Um, so uh, I ain't gonna give you a home run prop from this game. I mean, what the hell? Everybody can hit one. Texas Rangers at uh, Oakland Athletics. Here we got over under nine in this spot. Um, Oakland has been hitting hitting lefties, hitting lefties, man. You know they've been hitting lefties better or whatever. Um, I don't know who's gonna be the pitcher here. I see Rzeski, Rukinski, however you say his name, and then I see other somebody else, man. I think I see Sears or some somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta wait to see who's the who's the pitcher here, but. Rooker, all right, he's going to be a home run pop for me, all right? I'm going to sprinkle some on this home run, and I'm going to toss him into my home run parlay, okay? Rooker, all right? Rooker, Rooker, Rooker. San Diego Padres at um uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. Here we got an over under nine and a half in this spot here. And right now, I like the righties here, okay? I got them written down. I'm, I like them in this order. Will Smith, number one. Um, Taylor, number two. Betts. Three, then JD. All right, home run prop, um, uh, home run candidates here probably be Will Smith number one, Taylor number two. Okay, so or those guys are neck and neck for me for a home run today. However, um, Gonsolin, I got some interest in this out prop for Gonsolin. Okay, he um, he uh, I mean he pitched well. He pitched really, really well last game. He doesn't go too far off into the game, but he did hit 18 um, outs last game. And I'm, I'm, you know, you can get, you can get his, you can get his outs prop. It's a lean here, and this would be a straight bet if I go there. Um, you can get his outs prop at plus 115 on DraftKings. That's you know 15 and a half outs. I mean, he doesn't have to go six. He did go six. You know he's coming off the injury or whatever the case may be. Is he ready to, you know, go six if we if they need him to? Hey, I don't know. I have time to figure this out. You know, I got time to figure it out. Right now, it's a lean. You know, I'm still gonna think it's still probably gonna be plus money, you know, by the time I wake up in the morning, but we're gonna see. All right. Um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and lean towards Give uh, uh uh the Dodgers here, all right. You know, fishy line here, but you know, I don't want to. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't want to back Weathers. Uh, I don't. So you know, it is what it is. There. San Francisco Giants at um the Arizona Diamondbacks. We got over under eight and a half in this spot, and uh, you know, what was his name? Brandon Font. I was looking at some of his numbers, and I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm probably just gonna have to fade him again. All right, I'm gonna have to fade him again. Okay, I have to fade him again. I'm gonna have to fade him again. He's only this will be his third outing. He's given up six or seven runs in his last two outings. Six runs to Miami, a team that don't hit lefties, hit righties well, and then Texas. You know, he gave up seven runs to Texas. His earned run props in that two and a half. Okay. Um, the K's. He's only had three K's in both games. His outs. He's only went. He hasn't went. He hasn't even went over fifteen innings, outs. But you know, they might keep his leash on. Keep a leash on him anyway. I get a pitcher lean towards uh, 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 San Francisco right now. Um, they sitting. I mean, this guy Webb has been on one. Look at the outs. He's been. You know, he's hit. He's. You know, he's been. He's been smoking the outs as of late. Uh, so. Right now, his out prop sitting at 18 and a half. He's hit this number in five straight games. I'm still undecided if I want to get there, but, you know, I might reach back and sprinkle a little something on it to tell you the truth. His strikeout prop sitting at five and a half. This team don't strike out much, but I think he got him uh, once, but he's been teetering on the strikeout line. He's hit this net, like strikeout ever since every game except for two. I don't really target this team for strikeouts, though, uh, but, you know, he, he, Logan Webb's just been p- pitching – Pitching that good, you know what I'm saying? If you want to tease it down 
on the books. I couldn't talk about for that. All right, but a little bit more focused on the outs, and I got another home run play for here, even though I like multiple bats in this situation. Um, but uh, Jay, uh, uh, what's his name? J- uh, I've written it down. J.D. Davis. Yeah. I like him for a bomb. Yep, so I do. So we're going to see. And last but not least, man, we got the Cardinals in the Red Sox game here. Hey, I'm going to lean towards the over in this spot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to lean towards the over, man. Um, McCullough, he's been giving up runs. He's been giving up runs, man. So, yikes. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, um, this Boston team, they can, you know, they can really put it on the righties, man. They can really put it on the righties. And if you're giving up runs versus this team, they're going to take them. He hasn't pitched against this team this year yet, but I, I think they put up runs against them, man. They they up there in the top and a lot of these different metrics metrics versus right hand pitching. The strikeout prop sitting at three and a half. I probably won't even go there, even though he's ninety percent to this number somewhere. Every game except for one. It's out sitting at sixteen and a half projected. We don't know exactly yet. Uh, the walks, you know, walks could be in play in this one if it come. I only take one and a half walk props though. I only take one and a half walk props, but I, I, I like it. Then Corey Kluber, Corey Kluber on the other side, he can give up some runs as well. All right, so you know, here and there, and he can contribute to, um, he can contribute to, uh, um, you know, this over. Neither one of these teams strike out that much. You know what I'm saying? I think so. I ain't no think I know. Neither one of these teams. Don't strike out much. And then um, St. Louis, they hitting righties a little bit better this year. So, hey, I like the over there, man. I like the over. And I like the usual suspects, man. Guys like I I might I might take what's the name for a, a home run too today. He's due. Um, what the hell is the kid's name? Um, the lead lefty over there. Um. Well, this is Sunday Night Baseball, too. And I can't even see. Masaka Yoshiri, Verdugo. I like all of them. Devers. Yeah, he might be the one. He might go yard tomorrow. I might have to sprinkle something on him. He, I'm going to put him in my parlay, too. All right, with that being said, guys, peace out, man. Peace.